Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 3.1 outliers. 3.1 represents Chapter 3, Section 1 of the Pearson A Level Mass Applied Mass Year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Firstly, what is the definition of an outlier? Well, ladies and gents, an outlier is an extreme value that falls outside the data set. There are two different types of tests for outliers. The first one is called the quartiles test for outliers and the second one is called the mean and standard deviation test for outliers. Let's have a look at the first one. Quartiles test. Firstly, we have something called the upper limit. The upper limit is defined as upper quartile plus k lots of the interquartile range. So q3 minus q1. Lower limit is defined as q1, the lower quartile minus k lots of the interquartile range. So q3 minus q1. k is a constant. Now any data value greater than the upper limit is defined as an outlier. Any data value less than the lower limit is defined as an outlier. Okay, so that there is the pool tiles test for outliers. Let's have a look at the mean and standard deviation test for outliers. This is our second test. So we've got mean and standard deviation test. Upper limit is defined as the mean x bar plus k lots of the standard deviation sigma x. The lower limit is defined as the mean x bar minus k lots of the standard deviation sigma x. Ladies and gents, we have that k is a constant. Any data value greater than the upper limit is defined as an outlier. Any data value less than the lower limit is also defined as an outlier. So that there are the key facts of 3.1 outliers. I'll be applying these key facts within exam style questions. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. The masses of male and female turtles are given in grams. For males, the lower quartile was 400 grams and the upper quartile was 580 grams. For females, the lower quartile was 260 grams and the upper quartile was 340 grams. An outlier is an observation that falls either one times interquartile range above the upper quartile or one times interquartile range below the lower quartile. Now, if you look at this exam style question, the k value is 1. Part A, which of these male turtle masses would be outliers? 400 grams, 260 grams, 550 grams and 640 grams. The first step is to find the upper and lower limit for male turtle masses. Let's start off with the upper limit. So upper limit. So the upper limit is defined as Q3 plus 1 times the interquartile range. So Q3 is 580 plus 1 times Q3, which is 580, take away the lower quartile, which is 400. So if I put this into my calculator, I get precisely 760. 760 is my upper limit. Now I'm going to proceed forward to find the lower limit. So I've got lower limit. The lower limit is defined as Q1 minus 1 times the interquartile range. So we've got 400 
minus 1 times 580 take away 400. If I put this into my calculator, I get precisely 220. If we go back to the data values, and none of these data values are greater than 760, and none of these data values are less than 220. So there are no outliers for male turtle masses. So we can write down no outliers. End of part A of exam style question one. Let's have a look at part B. Which of these female turtle masses would be outliers? 170 grams, 300 grams, 340 grams, and 440 grams. Right, so we need to find the upper limit and the lower limit for female turtle masses. Let's start off with the upper limit. So the upper limit is defined as Q3 plus 1 times the interquartile range. So if we're looking at females, the lower quartile is 260 grams and the upper quartile is 340 grams. So I've got 340 plus 1 times 340 take away 260. Okay, so if I put this into my calculator, I get precisely 420 as my upper limit. Now I'm going to find the lower limit. So I've got lower limit. So the lower limit is defined as Q1 minus 1 times the interquartile range. Okay, so I've got 260 minus 1 times 340 minus 260. If I put this into my calculator, I get precisely 180. Now, 1 centi is less than 180. This implies that 170 grams is an outlier. Uh, 300 grams. That's in between 180 and 420, not an outlier. 340 grams, that's in between 180 and 420, not an outlier. 440 grams. Now, the 440 is greater than the upper limit, 420. This implies that 440 grams is an outlier. And that there completes part A and part B of exam style question 1. Moving on to part C of exam style question 1. What is the largest mass a male turtle can be without being an outlier? Well, that largest mass is basically the upper limit of the male turtle mass calculated in part A. So upper limit of male turtle mass. This was calculated in part A and it was 760 grams. So the mass of a male turtle can be 760 gram at maximum without being an outlier. This completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. The masses of arctic foxes are found and the mean was 6.1 kg. The variance was 4.2, hence the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. This is square root 4.2. An outlier is an observation which lies plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean. Part A, which of these arctic fox masses are outliers? 2.4 kg, 10.1 kg, 3.7 kg and 11.5 kg. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. The first step is to define the upper limit. So we have upper limit. It is given by the mean x bar plus two lots of the standard deviation sigma x. So if I carry out the substitution, I've got 6.1 plus two lots of square root of 4.2. Putting this into my calculator gives me 10.2 to three significant figures. Let's move on to the lower limit. So the lower limit is defined as the mean x bar minus two lots of the standard deviation sigma x. So if I carry out my substitution, I've got 6.1 minus two lots of the square root of 4.2. Putting this into my calculator gives me 2.00 to three significant figures. Now 2.4, 10.1 and 3.7 is in between 2.00 and 10.2. Hence, the first three data values are not outliers. However, 11.5 kg is actually greater than 10.2. 
So the 11.5 is an outlier. We can write down 11.5 is greater than 10.2. This implies that 11.5 kg is an outlier. This completes part A of exam style question 2. Let's have a look at part B. What are the smallest and largest masses that an arctic fox can be without being an outlier? Well, ladies and gents, the smallest mass is basically the lower limit. So we have smallest mass without being an outlier is the lower limit, which is 2.00 kg. The largest mass is basically the upper limit. That is 10.2. So the largest mass without being an outlier is 10.2 kg. This completes part B of exam study question 2 and this teaching video 3.1 outliers. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.